Hello and welcome back to Movie Health Community, the internet's number one source of health warnings at the movies. As always, please keep in mind that nothing produced by Movie Health Community is medical advice, nor has it been reviewed by any medical professionals. The Boys in the Boat is George Clooney's newest directorial effort, starring Callum Turner and Joel Edgerton in a movie about rowing in the 1930s and getting to the Olympics. As always, the first question at Movie Health Community is, is this movie safe for photosensitive audiences? The answer is yes! This movie has a grand total of one type of strobe type effect, and it's very mild. It involves cameras flashing, they do not strobe, they do not flash all at once, they flash very intermittently. But yeah, there are scenes where some cameras are flashing. There are no motion sickness risks with this movie at all. The biggest mental health warning I have for this movie is that the final act takes place in Nazi-controlled Germany. And we do see people praising the leader. We do see that leader. Just trying to avoid saying certain names that could get the reach of this video restricted. There is a scene during intense exercise where somebody leans off screen, presumably to vomit. And there's a moment where someone looks visibly sick and is curled up over a toilet. Now, is this movie any good? I think you have to be the right audience for this movie because some people are probably going to say that this movie is boring. I personally did not think this movie was boring, but I do understand where people come from if they say that. I'm not going to say that this is one of the best movies of the year or that it deserves to be in contention for any of the big awards except Best Original Score. It really should be in the conversation for best original score. Alexandre Duplat did a marvelous job with this movie. But what I will say about this movie is if you have spent any of the last few years complaining that they don't make movies like they used to, you definitely owe it to yourself and to Hollywood to go see The Boys in the Boat in the theater. This movie felt refreshingly old-fashioned. It didn't rely on anything new. There was nothing about it that seemed fake. I would say it gave me a similar atmosphere to something like October Sky. If you like Hoosiers or if you like Rudy, then... Or even if you like Radio, that's another good example. Then this is a movie that you are very likely to enjoy. So if you want to see more movies made like they used to, definitely go check out The Boys in the Boat. If you can handle a light PG-13 that would have been a PG back in the 90s and definitely in the 80s and prior, then definitely go check out The Boys in the Boat. I'm gonna give The Boys in the Boat a B plus. Thank you so much to our followers on Tumblr and Facebook, and as always, an extra special thanks to our patrons over on our Patreon page, whose names are scrolling on the screen like credits right now. Be sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when we post new videos, and leave a comment if you have anything to add to this discourse about the boys in the boat, especially if you disagree. We love hearing from you. And as always, stay safe at the movies.